Hello, creatives. So I am in the process of preparing my calendar for 2022. Yes, I know. My voice still sounds super, super crazy. I have no idea why, because I'm not actually sick. I, it just will not go back to regular. I have no idea why. Um, but anywho, um, I'm still going to push through this. So I'm going through preparing my calendar. There are so many different apps that I could use, put it right on my Google Calendar. I write stuff down in my physical calendar and my physical planner as well. But when I say I use Silhouette Studio for 93.65% of the things that I make, I do. I am so, so serious about that. So even when it comes to my content calendar or um, the calendar that I create to be able to um, post for my academy students and things like that, I still create it in Silhouette Studio. So I created like a template for myself and like the way the numbers and stuff are. So I'm just gonna show you guys real quick how I go about changing this up each and every single month. So all the numbers are, well, let's first ungroup it. All right, so all the numbers are like in a row and they're grouped together. So I'm going to take this one and just move it. Oops, wrong part. I'm gonna take this one, oh, come on. There we go, and just move over here for now. All right, because I'm gonna start, it's gonna start there. So I'm gonna take the one and we're just gonna move it, move that whole group here. Then we're gonna click like this. And I'm just going to slide all of these over one. Make sure that I align it to the top so that my two is right in the right place. And then of course this is over just a little bit too much. So we're gonna click on that and move that over. Now I'm ready to take this calendar and fill it in. Um, if there's ever a time where I have to like, you know, it, does, it doesn't quite add up um, or line up, I have to remove dates. I simply just um, cover them up when it comes to um, printing it out. So let's say, you know, for a month that will only have 30 days instead of 31. I normally, excuse me, so I don't have to move it just for the sake of filling it in and being able to print this out or save it. <clears throat> I normally just cover up the number that I don't need or if it's February going all the way, you know, back to the 28th. And I fill that one with white, remove the line color. And so now that's not appearing when I, you know, print out my calendar or if I save it as a JPEG to be able to post to my Academy site or my social media and things like that. Then I go in and just change out everything and um, go from there. So I'm about to plan out my calendar and schedule for um, 2022 and if you know for January, I'm actually gonna try and do January and February both um, and put them both out so that you guys are prepared at least you know until February and then in February I'll work on like March and um, April but yeah this is how I set up my calendar I like to see it visually and this just allows me to move things around it allows me to color code things easier um, so like all of my bachelor's classes are like in blue. Um, the lighter blue one are my live videos um, via my Facebook page. The green is about money, money, money. So it's my creative business classes and then purple are my master sessions. So I like this way of designing my or setting up my calendar so that I can color code, I can type in everything that I need. So I just wanted to share that with you guys to let you know that like when I say I use Silhouette Studio for pretty much everything, I truly do mean everything. So I'm, act I'm excited because this is about to change. As you guys know, um, in 2022, Silaholics Anonymous Academy is becoming 365 Creative Academy. So I'm about to finish up the logo for that and get ready to finish my schedule. All right, y'all, let me get back to work. I shall talk to you guys later. Until next time, have a great one. Continue to unlock your creativity and be incredible. Peace.